Okay, today is chicken noodle soup with leftover chicken. So last night we had chicken that I cooked in the pressure cooker to make chicken tacos. So I have a bowl of chopped up chicken, uh, celery, diced onion, garlic, parsley, salt, pepper, chicken stock, and cream cheese. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my burner on about medium here shake my container of chicken stock and add this to the pan. This is reduced sodium, which I bought by mistake, so I may wind up adding some salt to this, but we'll see. So I'm gonna add this probably with a little bit of water and chicken bouillon, just depends on how much I wind up having here. But I'm putting this in my pan here with my, um, I think I have a frozen chicken stock in the freezer too. I'm not sure. A little bit of garlic, kind of just to taste. Sprinkle some in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit. Add my cream cheese to it. Usually I add a whole, a whole package of cream cheese. Today I'll probably just use three quarters of it because I'm not making a ton like I often will. So. I'm going to put three quarters of this cream cheese in this chicken stock right here that I have already kind of cut up. And as it heats up, I'll use my wire whisk to try to blend it together. So here's what it looks like in there. I'm going to set this aside because I may need this in a little bit. So right now that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to add that, let it come up to temperature and simmer a little bit and use my wire whisk to blend it in. As I'm looking, I'm thinking I need some more chicken stock in there. So I'm gonna see if I have one in the freezer that's partially frozen, which I might, and if I do, I'll use that. Which here's what's left over from a previous thing that I fixed. So I take these, I dumped about half of it out and used it. I just stuck the whole other half in the freezer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this open so that I'm able to use what's left over without wasting it. I'm going to get my glass cutting board here because I don't want to make to ruin my countertop. I'm just going to cut through here enough so that I can open this and get the chicken stock out. It's a whole brick frozen chicken stock in here. So we're going to cut this apart. Waste not, i not. So here it is. I'm going to peel it away from the container so I can just get it in here. It looks like I need to do a little more cutting. If I had scissors, I'd probably do that. But this is what I happen to have on hand. So I'm going to take this whole frozen chunk, stick it in here, and it will thaw as it goes. So I'm going to let that go for a minute and throw these away. And I'm gonna pause and I'll be back after when I'm ready to add the chicken and celery after I get the um, cream cheese blended all together. So right here's what I have so far. It's my iced chicken stock, my fresh chicken stock out of the container with the cream cheese on medium. I will be back. So our block of chicken stock has melted. So now I'm just gonna mix this in to get the cream cheese all nicely blended with the stock that's in here. As soon as it is, then I'll add the chicken, onions, and celery to it and let it simmer a bit. So as you can see, it still needs a little more simmering, but it's getting close. I'm gonna pause again here. Okay, now I'm going to add my chicken and my celery onion mixture to it. As you can see, I've got it mixed up enough that the cream cheese is pretty well blended in. So I'm going to add my chicken, celery, onion mix together and let it just kind of simmer a little bit. So we're just going to put all of this in here like this, and this here like this, and then get my spoon over here so I can mix it. 
and let it just simmer with the lid a little bit. The, I did not and get mean all that. yummy and cook. And then I'm going to put the lid back on it and let it simmer some. So here's what it looks like so far. Okay, as you can probably see in my pot, we're boiling pretty good. So probably like at least 15 minutes before you want to serve is when you want to add the noodles. So these, I have the noodles that I got from Costco. They're just a huge bag of egg pasta noodles. Any noodles work. Fresh noodles work. Hard, crunchy noodles in a bag work. But this is what I like. It's a good value for the price. And they're pretty good noodles. So you just put in whatever amount you feel like you want. I just like to just put gobs and handfuls in them because if you'd rather have more noodles or more stock. So I just kind of add quite a few. It always starts out with the intentions of a small pot of soup, and then it grows and grows and grows from there. So we're going to put those in. We're going to mix them up and see. I probably might want more. I don't know. Let's take a look and see what we're looking like in here. I don't know. I suppose I'll add a few more. And then we're just going to put the lid back on, let them simmer, I don't know, 15 minutes till they're done, basically. That's kind of how I cook till it's done. So I'm going to add a few more noodles to it here. Just because it's better to have more than not enough. You can always add more, but you can't take them back. So remember that golden rule. A few more noodles here. Got to have noodles. And then... I'm just going to put the lid on and let them simmer now because they will fatten up and become pretty full in the pan. So I will come back and show you when we're getting closer to being done. Okay, so as I taste this and sample it, I'm realizing I want a little bit more flavor in it, a little more chicken flavor in it. So I'm going to take my beef, my chicken bouillon which is her box, whatever, whatever kind you get. But I'm just going to add a teaspoon or so of this in here. It's kind of salty, so you want to be really careful when you add it to not put too much. But put it in there kind of to taste and add salt and pepper as you want. You can see that it's still, the noodles are still boiling. There's not as much stock in this one as usual. But let's take a look and see. Here's what we're looking like so far. Just keep letting it simmer till those noodles are cooked. Taste it a little bit. Always want to taste as you're going. That's plenty salty, so we're not going to want any more salt in there. And I will show you my flour water mixture that I'm going to do to thicken it a little bit. So hold on one second. Okay, so I usually never measure this, but I am mixing my flour and cold water mixture together to thicken my soup. So I have in this jar a half of a cup that I measured of really cold water, a half a cup of flour. Remember, you don't scoop the flour, you dump it in and scrape off the lid. So I'm gonna put this flour in here. I don't know how much flour, water it's gonna need because I never measure it. I always just sort of, so I got it together here. I'm gonna put my mason jar lid on it so I can shake it all about. Mix it all up good. Rather than wire whisking it, it's just easier to put the lid on. Shake it all about until it's completely mixed. You don't need any lumps of flour in here, because if you have lumps of flour in here, you can have lumps of flour in your, in your uh, soup. So I don't know if I'm gonna need more flour or water. Like I said, I've never measured it before, so we'll see. So I'm just gonna mix it some look. Now it looks like it needs more water. So I'm gonna add another I'm going to add about an eighth of a, actually I'll add a quarter cup more water to that and we'll see how that goes. So if that's the case, then it will be three quarters of a cup of water to a half a cup of flour just to see. So, so this is three quarters of a cup of cold water with a half a cup of flour. Shake it about some more. This is simply just to thicken the stock in the soup. So now let's see what that looks like. And that looks pretty good. So three quarters of a cup of cold water to a half a cup of flour mixed really, really smooth. You don't want any lumps in it. So I like to put it in a mason jar and just shake it around. And then one more 
ready for it, we'll have it and we'll be ready to dump it in there. So just shake it all you want. Okay. Okay, it's time to add the thickener to the soup. So it's been simmering and kind of boiling long enough so that I know that the noodles are cooked. Please excuse the orange person in there. He got in my way. Um, but I have my pint jar. It has three quarters of a cup of water, half a cup of flour. I set it down on the counter because I was waiting. So just remember, no matter what, mix, stir it up constantly. You don't want any lumps in there at all. So just continue shaking it up just before you use it. And when you do get ready to use it, as you're adding it to the boiling liquid, you want to stir constantly because if you don't, you could get some more lumps. So we're just going to dump this in here and just mix continually so it thickens our stock for us. You just kind of add until you get the thickness that you want. Some people like it thicker, some people like more, um, more juice instead of thickness. So it's kind of up to whatever you decide you want. Dad kind of likes it a little bit thicker, so I tend to put a little bit more. So you don't, you may not use all this, but then you may need to mix more. So we'll just see what happens. Right now, here's what I have so far. It's getting pretty thick. So it's looking pretty good when you get the stock out and see it's getting pretty thick. The noodles are done. The celery's soft. As long as this is shaking really, really well and mixed really good so there's no lumps in it at all. It'll be fine. Never want to add flour directly to your hot pot because if you do, you're going to wind up with big flour balls and that's bad, bad, bad. That's yucky, yucky, yucky. You would do the same thing if you were thickening stock. Like if you had, like if you cooked your prime rib and you had the drippings and the, the beef stock, you would take the mixture of water and flour. So there again, it's three quarters of a cup of water and a half a cup of of flour. So three quarters of a cup of cold water, half a cup of flour. This is thick enough for what I want, I think. So I'm not going to use the rest of this. We're just going to stir it up here, make sure it's all mixed good. And the yumminess. Taste it to see if you want more salt, more stock, more garlic, whatever you want. It's kind of your personal preference, what you want as far as flavor goes. But here's what we have. Nice pot of chicken noodle soup, and it is ready to serve. So enjoy.